girl hey Paris here and I have not been into makeup lately you know I don't like wearing makeup anymore I don't know what had happened I just got really into skincare lately so um, I wear makeup probably one time throughout the entire week so I apologize for not coming on camera with makeup on because I figured why should I put on a face of makeup on for a video y'all already done Seeing what I look like without makeup is not that big of a deal. So I'm on my Alicia Keys strike shit right now. Not not really because I will I, I will be wearing makeup soon. Just not in this particular video. Is outside too loud? Is it too? I'll be right back. But anyways, I promised you guys that I was gonna do a story time about the time that my manager walked in on me changing my mug. Get bad, okay? This is one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. By the way, you guys, I never get my nails done. And look, I got them done. Aren't they pretty? Anyway, one of the most embarrassing moments of my life, but I'm pretty sure she don't know that, but I thought about it for another month later after it happened because, bitch, wait. Anyway, so let me explain to you who this manager was to me. Okay, so we're gonna call this manager Serena, okay? So if you guys didn't know, I worked at Sephora. You guys should know this, unless you're new to my channel, then hey, what up, how you doing? You might wanna watch my Why I Quit Sephora story time before you watch this one to, to get caught up. You know what I'm saying? But. If you guys don't know, I worked at Sephora, and a lot of you guys think that I hated working at Sephora. That's not the case at all. That is not the case. That's, I promise you, that's not the case. I just didn't like the people I worked with. And this particular manager was one of the people that I did not like. I'm sorry, Serena. That's not her real name. But I'm sorry, Serena. If you're watching this, girl, I did not like you. Not one bit. She talked way too much. She was in everyone's business. She was just unnecessary. You know those people who are just, I'm sorry, first of all, let me let me stop. I'm sorry, I keep stopping the story, but I'm not using my regular lighting right now. I am definitely using a study light to lighten myself right now, so I apologize for the big old shadow over here. Okay, listen, you just gonna have to excuse me, okay? Anyways, you know those people who are just unnecessary? Like, you're just unnecessarily here for no reason, like, what, what, why are you talking to me? That's who she was, one of those annoying ass people who you just didn't like being around you, okay? Again, I'm sorry, Serena, I acted like I like you, but guess what, I was working and I had to act like I like you, but I don't, I didn't. You was annoying as hell. Kinda like me, I'm annoying as hell. She would just say unnecessary things, like I'd be like, yeah, I woke up this morning and I brushed my teeth, and she would be like, did you know that 99% of the dust under your bed is dead skin cells? No. Bitch, I didn't know that and I didn't need to know that. I was not, what, where did that come from? No, like, you don't need to tell me that. You don't need to educate me on them type of things because I didn't ask about it. I was not having a good day on this particular day because, first of all, I was not even gonna come to work. I was sick, I was feeling sick, my stomach was hurting, and I wasn't lying. I never lied, the thing is, I never lie when it comes to work. I never lie if I'm sick or whatever. If I'm hungover, I would call and be like, listen, I'm hungover, I can't come to work, I apologize, whatever, whatever. Or I'd be like, honestly, I don't feel like coming to work. I just, I'm just not in the mood. I don't feel like, I never lie about it. I never come back. <coughs> I'm, I'm sick. I can't come to work. I'm sick. So they should have known I wasn't lying because I'm not a liar. I don't lie about stuff like that. There's no reason to lie because they were very understanding when it came to those type of things. They know that we're young adults and we're gonna be out there drinking or sometimes we just don't feel like coming to work and it was never a problem if we called them in and told them that. We just have to be honest with them, it's just that simple. As long as someone else was able to take your shift, no problems, okay? So I called in and I was like, honestly, this was to another manager, not Serena, okay? So we're, t we're gonna call the other manager, Danielle. So I was like, Honestly, Danielle, like, I'm, I'm feeling really sick. My stomach is hurting me a lot. I feel like I might be going through my, my lady days and I, I just can't come into work today. This bitch said, Well, we need you on the floor, so I'm gonna need you to come in, okay, sweetheart? Don't, this is one thing I hated about Sephora. They would always call you sweetheart even if they was like telling you something you didn't want to hear if they were disciplining you they'd be like you did a horrible job on her eyebrows okay sweetheart you just almost killed that lady she got an allergic reaction from that skin mask okay sweetheart her concealer does not match her at all okay sweetheart don't 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 sweetheart me i'm not the one don't don't if it's not nothing nice you gonna say 
don't sweetheart me after, don't do it, please don't do it. So she's like, yeah, I need you to come in today, okay, sweetheart, we don't have a lot of people on the floor tonight. But I was like, Danielle, honestly, I'm telling you right now, I cannot come in, I am not feeling well, I can't even come out of my bed right now. Because if y'all, y'all don't even need to know this, this is too much information, but I have the worst the worst cramps of life. I'm talking about I'll be on the floor and I'll be holding my stomach, I'll be rolling around doing 360s. Three out of five of times that I am on my cycle and I get my cramps, I black out. When I talk about black out, I mean I'll sit from my bed, stand up and be on the floor and not even know what happens. I'm not exaggerating. My, you know, my period is horrible. It's bad. It's bad okay y'all don't even know that but i have to just let you guys know i was not exaggerating when i called in sick for work that day i was not exaggerating this was 100 percent like i cannot move i can't like no, there's nothing i could do so my manager was like okay how about you just come into work and if you feel as though you can't work then we can send you home okay bitch i'm at home and i already want to be back home so what is the point of me coming to work so she was like I got some Advils here for you, okay? If you want some Advils, I'll give you some Advils. If you need to take a little bit of breaks in between your shift, that's fine. But we definitely need you on the floor, Paris. I need you here, okay? Within the next 10 minutes. And I'm like, <laughs> this lady really not gonna allow me to not come to work. And I don't ever call in sick to work. Like, really. All right, Danielle. All right, Danielle. <laughs> All right, Danielle. <laughs> I get into work holding my stomach arched over like, oh my gosh, can't even walk. Even my mama, my mama always told me to go to work no matter what. My mama was like, you sure you can go to work? I was like, I'm sure I cannot go to work because I'm in pay, mommy. But my manager is insisting that I come in, so I'm gonna go in for 10 minutes until I cannot stand the pain and leave because I haven't even left my house yet and I can't even stand the pain. So since she wants me to come in and she wanna see me for some reason, I'm gonna go in for 10 minutes, okay? And I'm gonna walk right out. I'm gonna tell her I cannot stand up no more and I'm gonna leave. So I walk into work, holding my stomach, cramped over. I go to my manager and she's like, oh my gosh, sweetheart, thank you so much for coming in. Why, why are you doing that for? Come on, honey, I know you don't feel that bad now, do you? Bitch. Yes, I do feel this bad. I'm not exaggerating. Nobody understands. I have dysmenorrhea, okay? Google it. I have dysmenorrhea and it's bad. Not to mention I'm anemic, so when I am on my period, it's like I have no energy. Like, I look like I'm about to die. I have no energy whatsoever. So we do our touch base. Touch base is basically when there's a group of people who are about to start in that hour. You tell them where to go, what we're going to do, what the goal is for today, and you go out. So we're doing touch base, and I'm just holding my stomach, just making faces like... And nobody cares about little old Paris. It's like, scoot, scoot, go back on the floor, go help some customers. So I just walk, I, I walked on stage, which means on the floor, holding my stomach. I don't care. And customers are walking by and they're looking at me like, what's wrong with her? Like, what's really going on with this girl holding her stomach? Look like she's about to die. She either needs a shit or she's giving birth because that's what I look like. My face was just like, the whole time. And mind you, at this point, I didn't get my my period, okay? I didn't get it yet. But I knew it was coming, but I was thinking it was coming tomorrow, the next day, because normally when I feel like those cramps coming, it's the next day that it's coming. But no, my, Mother Nature said, hello Paris, how you doing girl? I'm here, I'm here to stay for another five days. What up girl? So I was just like, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't just pee myself. Y'all right, kitty? I was like, I need to go to the washroom and check to see what's going on, okay? I need to check what's going on, what's going on. So I go in the washroom and I do what all girls do. Take a little tissue paper, wrap it around your, your hand and just shoop. And I was like, oh, how you doing, Kool-Aid? But I didn't have any tamps or pads, okay? That was very rude and out of order. You don't do that. I'm, I'm trying to make a video, phone. So, I go back on the floor and I'm asking everyone, do you have a tamp, do you have a tamp, do you have a pad, do you have a pad? Everyone's saying no, 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 no. So I go to my manager, uh, which is, what did I name her again? Shit, what did I name her? <sighs> Serena. So I go to Serena and I'm like, yeah, Serena, gotta go home. Don't got a pad. Don't got a tampon. Gotta leave. So it was nice. It was nice being here for the 30 minutes that I've been here, but it's time for me to leave. See you later. <laughs> Serena was like, 
no, 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 hold up, come here. Come here. I was like, <laughs> yes, Serena, how are you doing, what's up? Serena proceeds to tell me that she has a pad in her bag. So I was like, okay, whatever. Still dying inside, still need to go home. I'm still planning to go home within the next 15 minutes, but I'm gonna act like I'm okay for the time being so they don't think that I'm just wasting their time. Okay? And then, I'm about. So Sabrina gives me the pad, and I open the pad, and it's like, you can't even see. It was like this big. And I was just thinking to myself, what kind of you have? Cause I ain't never seen nothing this big in my life. This look like a diaper. I go in the washroom, the pad started here, and it ended up here. That shit was long, long. But I put it on anyways. And you know, I'm cleaning up myself, you know, because you gotta clean up, you can't just put it on. You gotta clean yourself up or whatever. And so, when you're in Sephora, what you're wearing is uh, tight and my long Sephora dress. So my dress was up here and I had my neck holding my dress like this. My tights were down to my knees. My drawers were up to my knees. And I had a tissue when I was doing my little thing. And I could promise you, I swear that I locked the door, okay? But I guess the door's broken or something, but I locked. I know I locked it. I would not go in a washroom and not lock the damn door, especially when it's a washroom that is only there's only one in Sephora, okay? So in my head, I was like, I'm safe. I could do whatever I want. I could strip naked right now and dance in the mirror and send a, a video to like, I don't know, but like no one ain't gonna walk in. Like it didn't have that wasn't a problem. So I do my little thing and the doorknob twitches. And I'm not thinking nothing of it because I'm like the door is locked. They'll they'll know someone's in there. They ain't gonna come inside here. Not today. And Keep in mind, Serena just gave me the pad out of her bag and watched me walk into the washroom. She just, it just happened. This just happened, y'all. It was like, here you go, and I was like, thank you. And walked in the washroom. So I don't understand, I, I, it don't make no sense to me. But the door opens now, and I'm just standing there like, and Serena walks in and she's like, oh, sorry. Bitch, what is taking you so long to leave? What is taking you so long to leave? Do I have something you don't have? Do I have something you don't have? Huh? I was très upset. Très, très upset, okay? Not to mention she opened the door so wide that there was people eating lunch, and I don't know if they looked this way or not because I was focused on Serena, but they could see me if they looked through, okay? So I was très embarrassed, okay? I am French, but I know that très means very, okay? Education. So it took a good five seconds to close the door after why I don't know and then I finished my stuff and I just looked in the mirror like okay so I have three options here I can a be her ass B act like nothing happened or C go home I said I'm gonna choose option B and C okay let's go I go to my other manager Danielle and I say Danielle I'm sorry I can't be here I gotta go I'm in pain I came I saw I conquered record sales sold out concerts okay on my Jay-Z stuff like I tried and I tried and I couldn't do it so I'm sorry Danielle but I got to go she was still pleading and begging me to stay because other people called in sick, that ain't my problem. I'm actually sick, okay? This was a Saturday, so you know, all them other girls was partying all night. I was not, okay? I'm literally sick, so it's time for me to go. Better call one of them up and tell them to come in because I'm actually the one who's sick. So, she's begging me and pleading me, and I said, no, I gotta go, I'm sorry. And I got up and I left. The next day was very awkward. I felt a lot better the next day, so I went in the next day. And me and Serena for the next, like, three months, no eye contact and I'm happy for that because it took you five seconds to leave okay five seconds how why when where why how how come what 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 happened and me and her were never really close so it didn't really bother me okay so it's whatever Serena you know who you are okay and I need answers Serena I need answers why did it take you so long to leave why anyways that's the story uh nothing else really happened after that it was just very very awkward it was very very I don't know I went and I told everyone in Sephora about it before she could tell everyone in Sephora about it because I was not about that life I was not about to be the laughing stock I was about to make fun of myself first before she was able to tell anybody so I told everybody and it was looking at her funny because I was like it took her five minutes to leave and then after the like why I take a five minutes to leave and I was like I don't know that's what I want to know <laughs> like wait anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's video follow me on snapchat twitter instagram all that jazz is in the descri description wow and I'm I'm sweating look at this 
All that is in the description box down below. Leave a comment down below and let me know if anything like this has ever happened to you. I love to read your stories. Love you guys so much. Don't gotta tell you twice and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye y'all. <laughs> So this happened when I just got out of my relationship with the nigga who tried to kill me. And my friend just came out of a long time relationship with her boyfriend as well. And she was mad depressed. She's the type of person who she always needs a man, okay? I'm not that type of person. I don't always need a man, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm